Coach, another uh, gutsy win here. You've had the last three games uh, not looking all that pretty, maybe, but you're winning on the road. These are three tough wins. And you know what? To win on the road is always hard. To win conference games in February on the road is brutally hard, um, especially when you get the other team's best effort. Obviously, Colgate played terrific early in the game. Uh, you know, I didn't think our defense had the type of uh, intensity or edge that we needed. Our guys really challenged them, and they really stepped it up defensively. And they got some great contributions, you know, across the board and certainly off the bench from Cameron Ayers, who played a terrific game, and Enoch Ando, again, just uh, huge contributions for us. You're all concerned about the fouls that some of the guys are getting into. Uh, you know, basketball, uh, you may have said this, I may be getting this from you, when you fix something and push it in, something else punches back out somewhere. Well, and you've got a lot of things going well, but you've got guys getting in foul trouble lately. You know, and that's a little bit symptomatic of playing on the road as well. Um, you know, so the, the whistle's not always quite as kindy on the road as it is at home, and I guess we'll just leave it at that. Um, I am concerned um, because we need, you know, obviously it was great to get the good contributions we got, but, and, and hopefully this will make us better, but we need to get our guys who've been so terrific all year to get back playing at, at top level. If there's any trend at all, these last three uh, home uh, away games, uh, Mike Mescal has gotten beaten up a lot. Joe Willman, all of a sudden, his shot's disappearing a little bit. And uh, Bryson Johnson, your other sophomore, they're stepping up big time. But I don't think you want to live by the three-point shot going into the playoffs at the end of the year, do you? No, no, we don't want to live by it. And, we, you know, I think, uh, I think a little bit is fatigue for Mike and Joe. Uh, again, you got to remember they're sophomores, and they're not uh, going to be confused with being uh, Godzilla or anything like that physically. So they, I think they're wearing down a little bit, and um, uh, but it'll be good to be at home. And uh, I think they need a little rest and, and kind of get that out of their system. Some other guys that maybe didn't play as well early in the year are playing better now. Uh, so, you know, we always want to paint a masterpiece, but we'll walk away with the win and, and share the conference championship uh, with, a lot of, with a lot of happiness. Last question. It's been, uh, your, this is your third year. You came here, moved to a new community, a lot of things going on there, and you inherited players you know you didn't recruit, and you've made a lot of adjustments. You went through some losing periods. Uh, it might be about time to say you're doing a heck of a job here. Uh, you don't uh, brag about yourself at all, but look, uh, 18 and 2 since December 1st, only one loss in the Patriot League. Uh, these three sophomores you've got here are really, really doing a bang up job. And it's about time maybe you take a little credit for uh, uh, for some of the wonderful things that are going on here. Well, I appreciate the thoughts, but really, you know what the best thing is, is that it's a group of guys that work so hard and embrace the team concept, and they let us coach them really, really hard. And it's just a lot of fun to be around this group of guys. Going into the playoffs now, these last two games, are you going to, you don't want to tip your hand or are you going to play reserves or, or what? No, we're going to play. You know, you step on the court and we play. So we're going to play and we want to have momentum and we want to continue with our good defense, but we want to get back to a little bit better flow on offense as well. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.